world my name is Bella Tebi and this is a story time video where I am going to share with you guys about one of the most traumatizing experiences I've had this year and no it is not COVID-19 it has to do with this I had a menstrual cup stuck inside me and had to go to the hospital to have it removed so one of my resolutions this year was to try and find better ways of reducing and managing waste especially the feminine hygiene products that i use and that is how i ended up ditching my good old friends pads and tampons for this cup that betrayed me i did my research and ended up ordering this cup and was excited for the coming of my period period it came that morning it took a couple of minutes to insert it because it kept opening so this is how you insert it fold one end and then push it in so it kept opening before it could actually go inside but i finally managed to insert it however i decided to add a pad just in case there was leaking and indeed there was a bit of leaking uh, throughout uh, the day so i come back home in the evening i had it on for the whole day because you can have the cap on for up to 12 hours so i come back home in the evening and first thing i do is hop into the shower because i figured it would be really easy for me to remove it while in the shower so I tried removing it and it couldn't come out. I could feel it. I could actually touch it. I tried to pull it out by the stem. I tried. So normally this is how you pull it out. It couldn't come out. It felt as if my fingers were a bit too short uh, to like pull it out. So I had a mini panic attack and I messaged the lady who sold uh, the cup to me and she advised me to like take my mind off of it because the tension was making my muscles uh, feel clenched and that making it more difficult to remove the cup. So I decided to go make some dinner and about 40 or 45 minutes later, I went back to the bathroom and tried to remove it. I had my fingers up inside me, I think like eight, nine or 10 times for up to an hour and it still could not come out. You guys, at this point, I was questioning my life choices and I decided to, you know, go back and watch YouTube tutorials on how to remove the cup. And I realized I was not doing anything wrong. So it is at this point that it actually hit me that the cup was indeed stuck inside me. And at this point, I was crying. I, I, I used all of my panic attacks. And when those got finished, I decided to use my breakdowns for the day. And when those got finished as well, I decided to put on my big girl pants and ordered an Uber and went to the hospital. I feel like I was judging myself the whole time, but the doctor and nurse who attended to me were so nice. They were reassuring and they made me feel comfortable. And the doctor explained to me that they were going to perform a procedure called the vaginal speculum, which is pretty much the same procedure they carry out when you go in for a pap smear. It took about 10 minutes max, but it was very, very uncomfortable. I don't want to lie. And it was painful because I was crying the whole time. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, it was like at a seven or an eight i also don't have a high tolerance for pain anyways when it was finally over the doctor just held the cup above me and he was like here is the cup and the blood at this point i just wanted to tell him to throw away the whole cup but i was like uh no i'm gonna try the cup again i'm not gonna give up so have i tried the cup again no am i gonna try the cup yes definitely but i think i would buy a cup that has a longer stain so that even if you if even if i don't insert it properly it is easy for me to like reach out for the stem and pull it out because the doctor told me first of all i had insert, inserted it in a weird position that's why i was unable to like take out the cup and also he mentioned that the the, the suction that had been created for those many hours because by the time i was going to the hospital it's already 2 a.m in the morning those were more than 12 hours so the suction was also making it difficult to like uh, pull out um the cup so i'm actually thinking what if menstrual cups had like really long stains so that part of the stem remains outside the vagina so that then it's easy for you you know to pull it out I don't know i don't even know how hygienic how hygienic that is but it's probably something i should look um into so you guys i want to know if you have ever tried to use a menstrual cup and what your experience has been like let me know